Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today we're going to be celebrating Women's History Month. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the origin of Women's History Month and celebrate it, giving people an idea. I'll have the links to the articles that I'm reading in the description, as always. Well, I say as always, but I'll correct it if I have to. But let's recognize some of the reasons why we have these things. And this argument, I'm not saying for this particular one, but this whole thing about like gay pride parade and why isn't there a straight pride parade, the black lives matter to all lives matter. People have to recognize those arguments are dumb and they're just ridiculous. There's a reason why they have these type of things and it's because it wasn't always equal. And what I found interesting about Women's History Month is that I expected it to go back really far. I mean, let's, let's be honest, you know, in America, United States, or when his, women were able to vote, you know, but seeing that it was since 1987 was a little surprising. So I'm going to read the first article, usually word for word. I might interject things here and there. And this one is from People.com. It's Women's History Month. How it started, why we celebrate in March, and more questions answered. And it's by Andrea Wurzberger. One of the titles is, Did you know that Women's History Month went from one day to one week to one month? Learn about the month-long celebration. Happy Women's History Month. Every March, we celebrate the contributions of history-making women to our society. From how it began to important dates in March you should know. Read on to learn more about the month-long celebration. Now, in a lot of these things I talk about, there are underlying words that lead to other articles, and usually this is maybe important when I'm doing science stuff, if you want to check the peer-reviewed and the actual studies, but even in something like this, you could find the underlying things and highlighted words and they'll lead you to other links. As I said, I'll put the links in the description. When is Women's History Month? Women's History Month is a month-long celebration of women's accomplishments and contributions that is celebrated in the month of March. Why is Women's History Month in March and how did it begin? Women's History Month was initially just International Women's Day, a day that commemorated the February 28th meeting of socialists and suffragettes in Manhattan in 1909. Oh, you see, uh, maybe something in my brain did tell me it went a little more back. One year later, on March 8th, 1910, according to BBC, a German activist named Clara Zetkin suggested that they recognize International Women's Day at an international conference of working women in Copenhagen. With 17 countries in attendance at the conference, they all agreed. On March 8, 1911, the first International Women's Day was celebrated in Austria, Switzerland, Germany, and Denmark. Though the holiday wasn't widely celebrated in the United States until the United Nations began sponsoring it in 1975. This is, <laughs> interject, but this is like a little mind-blowing to me, but I guess there's a confusion in my brain with m Women's Day and going into the month, so. But it just seems like, um, every time I do something like this and go back, you always get a little like, you know, how fucked up is this in a, in a way? But, okay, so the United States, the United Nations began sponsoring in 1975. In 1977, in order to persuade school principals to comply with the recently passed Title IX, I think, a task force in California created Women's History Week. They used that week to celebrate the accomplishments of women. In March 1980, after celebrations had spread across the country, President Jimmy Carter declared that March 8th was officially the start of National Women's History Week. That same year, Utah Senator Orrin Hatch and Maryland Representative Barbara Mikulski 
co-sponsored the first joint congressional resolution declaring the week of March 8th, 1981, National Women's History Week. By 1987, Congress declared the entire month of March Women's History Month. Since then, every president has declared the month of March Women's History Month. Why do we celebrate Women's History Month? We celebrate Women's History Month to remind ourselves of the accomplishments of women throughout the years to our culture and society, from science to politics. It's a chance to reflect on the trailblazing women who led the way for change. What are some key dates during Women's History Month? International Women's Day is celebrated on March 8th and was established as a holiday in 1911. The first major march on Washington by suffragists happened on March 3, 1913. The National Women's Party was formed in March 1917. The group is dedicated to getting women the right to vote. Title IX was passed on March 1, 1972. In fact, the first ever Women's History Week was created in order to bolster support for Title IX which prohibited discrimination due to sex in federally funded education programs. And that's underlined, and uh, even right now I want to go on a dive and go check all that stuff out. It's fascinating. The Equal Rights Amendment was passed in the Senate on March 22nd, 1972. And I'm born in 71 or 50, I feel kind of old now. But this is not old in the history of this world we're on. This is still mind-boggling to me. You know, it's just like, uh, I'll interject here, and uh, with the war, right? And growing up, when I hit a certain age, I thought there was an end to things. Like, once generations hit adulthood, they're like, the nonsense stops. Now, I happen to believe that religion is one of them, or, you know, this belief in a um, guy sitting on the throne and dogma and stuff. So when I got to a certain age, I was surprised that adults really believed this nonsense. But, you know, it is what it is, right? We're humans, we're still climbing that evolutionary ladder, I guess. What is this year's Women's History Month theme? According to the National Women's History Alliance, 2022 is about women providing healing, promoting hope. Not surprisingly, it is a direct response to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. It is both a tribute to the ceaseless work of caregivers and frontline workers, during this ongoing pandemic, and also a recognition of the thousands of ways that women of all cultures have provided both healing and hope throughout history, reads the National Women's History Alliance site. This year in particular, we are reminded of the importance of healers and caregivers who are helping to promote and sustain hope for the future. So, that is one of the articles. Again, it's on People. It's by... Andrea Wurzberger, Wurzberger, and I thought it was a good, you know, summation of things. There is a little more paying attention to the, the rights on certain things. I'll go to another article, and this is, uh, I wanted to do this because it's like a charities thing, and it kind of gives you a little tips on how you can help the cause. So I'll continue. I don't know what this says. Uh, this is just says it's by American Charities, so. And again, I'm not a charity guy. You have to do too much work to look into it. But I'm going to read it. And if there's a problem with one of these organizations, I mean, so be it. But the thought will be there in the, at least the presence of a warning of, you know, always be careful with how these charity stuff work. But I thought it would help. March Women's History Month. Celebrating women's achievements and continuing to fight for women's rights. On March 8th, International Women's Day, and throughout the month of March, Americans will celebrate the many achievements of women throughout history in art, athletics, business, government, philanthropy, humanities, science, and education. Women have contributed a lot to society, and we have made great strides in reducing the gender equality gap. However, we still have some barriers to overcome to ensure equal economic opportunities, educational equity, women's health, and an end to gender-based violence. Oh boy, this is a... <laughs> that opens the door into a lot of craziness. All right. 
In honor of Women's History Month, America's Charities is celebrating the following agents of change who we are proud to call our members. ACLU. Women have made great strides in the fight for equity and equality, but gender bias continues to create huge barriers for many, especially immigrants, women of color, women with low incomes, and victims of domestic violence. Throughout litigation, advocacy, and public education, the, uh, the ACLU Women's Rights Project pushes for change and systemic reform in institutions that perpetrate discrimination against women, focusing its work in the areas of employment, violence against women, and education. Women's Way. Women's Way has impacted the lives of hundreds of thousands of women and their family through its I see this is my brain shuts off through its uh, by seeding, supporting and leading an array of efforts in the greater Philadelphia region. They are working towards ensuring affordable health care access and protecting reproductive rights, empowering leadership, implementing system change and responding and preventing domestic violence and achieving equal opportunity and economic security for women and girls everywhere. FOS Feminista, F-O-S Feminista. Okay. <laughs> Aspires to co-create a feminist future where all women, girls, and gender diverse people have the support, information, and services they need to make their own choices about their bodies, their sexuality, and their lives. N-A-R-A-L Narrow well, It's an acronym, I think Narrow Pro-Choice America Foundation Fights to protect and expand these rights At every level of government Whether that means putting pressure on lawmakers And corporations Educating the public about current events Or changing the conversation Ahead of monumental Supreme Court decisions Throughout the month of March We encourage you to Join us uh, what? Uh, join us in celebrating Women's History Month. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook as we share how our members' specific programs empower women's contributions to the advancement of communities around us. Donate and raise money for these nonprofits whose work has and continues to pave the way for women's health, equal economic opportunities, educational equity, and an end to the gender based violence. America's Charity is proud to work with our member charities to do in these respective areas. Oh, I fucked that up somehow. One of the most cost-effective ways you can support these nonprofits is to donate to them via payroll deduction to your employee's workplace giving program. Don't have a program? Click here. Da, da, da. Click on these charities' name above to learn more about their work and to make a donation now. So I always implore doing due diligence with all... I just wanted to read this because it gives you an idea of what still has to go on, what still has to happen to make sure we don't go backwards. And talking about some of the things that are going on right now about the Don't Say Gay and the Texas and fucking Florida and all the nonsense with laws about, um, you know, abortion and stuff. It's just barbaric and fucking, it's like going back to the dark ages because a bunch of morons are delusional in where they think a culture is supposed to be going. So I, I hate to break this to people, okay? If this generation views sex as fluid, and not talking about birth gender, yeah, we still have these things and how we scientists will classify uh, a species, right? But we're not talking about the difference between like uh, gender and sex, right? You know, you got to have that Thing there. If this world, if this generation grows up, everything changes. I don't care how old you get, how angry and grumpy you get growing up. This is going to be no longer your world. So I don't care where you sit in the cabinet in America and UK and Scotland and China, wherever you are. The world is turning. Kids are growing up. Your indoctrinations are failing. This is showing in widespread atheism and non-belief in certain things. People aren't going to give a shit no more, and I think it really matters with places like this. 
or, or fights like this and events like this, Women's History Month. You have to keep adamant. You gotta keep on it. And people have this thing about the pronoun war. Well, you know what? It, it wouldn't be war if they didn't have to fucking start screaming about shit. Not that I agree with everything. But you wonder why laws, all these things have to happen because we live in a society of America and one of our greatest things ever is everything is free. You're free to do anything until you're not. And what that really means is one of America's greatest benefits of saying why I live here and why it's so great or one of the greatest places, so on and so forth, is that in general terms, you're free to do whatever you want until a law has to be made to fucking stop idiots. So that's just what happens. And it might sound weird, but it's a great way for a nation of testing new boundaries and a new experiment. So I can only speak for America, the United States. We should have been doing this since the caveman days. I mean recognizing women's place and not just, you know, falling into these, um, you know, maybe you want to call blame it on evolution and how we evolved. Sure. Fine. I mean, there's a little bit of everything involved, but we're supposed to be, you know, huge mega cities and we're traveling to other planets and stuff. Why is there fucking war? Why do black people have to say black lives matter? Why do you have to utter it? It boggles my mind. And just sometimes don't know what to make of it all. Like I said, I grew up and I was so surprised that people really believed in things like religion and, um, you know, nonsense. And to hear the stuff come out of families' mouths and it's just crazy. But we are celebrating Women's History Month. And so I applaud all the women out there. I lost one of the most important women this year, or right before Thanksgiving, my mother. So I honor her, my aunt, who's my second mother, and all the women I've ever met in my life. I never hold any hard feelings. If we were young and we were children growing up and if things didn't work out, if at times one of us was more the person, you know, stunned by it or not or hurt, I still love you all. And I still care for you. And I care for all human beings at a basic level. Until I fucking start filling in information. And that's just nature, right? That's just, I have to. But on the surface level, we should be fighting for these rights, these achievements, and honoring them. And more power to women everywhere. If you hear this in some tiny basement and who knows... Or if it's something that is laughed at in certain future things, because, you know, we're living in a patriarchy. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. My best to you and yours. I'll talk to everybody next time. Take care.